Welcome back to your Tability onboarding. In this video, we'll walk through setting up your goals in Tability and adding in teammates. Let's start with a quick overview of how goals work in Tability. Before you set up your goals, you'll need to create a plan by clicking Create My First Plan. Your plan is where you'll create a specific set of goals to track. Starting off, we'll give our plan a name. The best practice here is to be specific in the names of your plan. In this example, we'll be setting up company-level goals for Q3 in our fiscal year 2024. So we'll name our plan Q3 FY24 Company OKRs. We'll also choose how frequently we want to have updates about the progress on our key results. For quarterly OKRs, we recommend having the teams check in every week to make sure that we have as much data as we can in order to make decisions on prioritization down the line. But you can also have bi-weekly check-ins, monthly check-ins, or even quarterly check-ins, though I'd only re recommend the last couple for your annual OKRs. Next, we'll set when our OKRs are for. This will let Tability automatically set the timeline for when the goals need to be completed by. We go by calendar quarters, but you can also set a custom timeline if your fiscal year is offset. Finally, choose if you want others to be able to edit the plan and click Create. Now it's time to set up our OKRs. If you've already created your OKRs, you can add them in manually from the button on the left. If you're still drafting OKRs and want some custom examples to go off of, though, you can use AI to generate goals from the button on the right. We're going to give that a shot. First, we'll tell Tability what we're working on. In this case, I want to roll out an improved customer experience with our app and then we'll click Generate Preview. Tability will then generate some goals for you, and you can choose whether you want to use the ones that were created, or if you'd like to have Tability try to regenerate a new set. I think these look pretty good, so we're gonna start with these. Once we've loaded the generated OKRs, we can make any changes that we need to by clicking on the objective or on the key result and editing it. So instead of increasing our score by 20%, I want to be a little bit more specific and say our score from 30 to 60. I can also change the metric or the KR owner, the person who would be giving us updates for these goals by clicking on them as well. If I don't have anyone in the instance, I can invite them, or I can come back to this step later. For our metric, we'll click on this, and we can make this a little bit more specific so that people don't have to go to other tools to find where exactly we are on our track towards these goals. Tability will default from 0 to 100%, but you can change this to any number or any type of metric that you would like to. Go for 60, and we're going to start at don't worry if you need to come back and update these later. You can always update this plan's content down the line. Whether you want to keep it as a draft and come back to edit it and finalize your OKRs later, or even after you publish it and have it live, we can always come back and make some changes if we need to. If we're writing our own OKRs, the process is fairly similar. Click Add a New Objective to write out your objective. And then we can hit Enter and Tab, which will let us write our key results. If we want to add more, we can hit Enter. If we want to add in some tasks, we can hit tab again and be able to track some individual tasks here as well. As you write your OKRs, you can see your plan score on the right update based on how many best practices that you've followed. You'll see suggestions underneath for how to improve your OKRs. Click on a suggestion and Tability will highlight it inside of the plan so you know where to go and edit it. Once your plans are finished and you're ready to add KR owners, we can invite the team to Tability. We'll cover that in another video. 